Yo, hey guys, my name is Akil and in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to create your own coloring book using Creative Fabrica. So Creative Fabrica is the best place for you guys to outsource all of your work, especially for the book cover and also the book interior. So if you guys like this video, please do smash that like button and without further ado, let's go. Okay guys, before I'm going to proceed to teach you guys how to create your coloring book using Creative Fabrica, but first of all, we are going to do a market research for a bit. It's not that complicated, it's just a simple. For the first thing I'm going to do before I'm going to create the coloring book using Creative Fabrica, I like to find a books that is simple. So an example, let's say animals coloring book for kids, okay? Okay. But for now, I'm not searching the BSR, the best ranking sale, anything like that. This is just an example. Remember, if you guys want to create your own coloring book, you guys have to do your own research. What, what is the best niche for you guys? So I'll just show you an example because why I like to find coloring books for kids because it is easier if you guys want to adjust the image. Okay, You can do some adjustments. So it's, as an example here, if you guys can see here, okay, all of these books, uh, you guys I can do some editing on the image because one thing you guys have to remember when using Creative Fabrica you guys can't just uh, buy the product and then just copy and paste it on Canva and then and just extract it to PDF and then upload you can't do that you have to put some editing on it okay to make it a little bit different from the original product don't worry I will explain the license after this but as you guys can see here this is the product is something similar that I'm going to uh, make. Okay, if you guys can see here, uh, the books have around 1,600 rating, which is that's really big of number of sales for just a simple coloring book uh, as this. Okay, and here we are the Creative Fabrica website, which is we can get anything from here, something digital. You guys can get designs, interior book cover and so much more. So I'm going to explain it to you guys the licensing on using their digital product. And here we are guys, the licensing for using Creative Fabrica products. Okay, if you guys want to read it by yourself, you guys can click on the description below. I put it in the description below so you guys can read it by yourself. So uh, there's so many types of license, subscription license, single sales license, CF premium license and stock photo license. A subscription license, if you guys want to subscribe to Creative Fabrica and you have access to their products, but I'm not going to explain about subscription license. The thing that I want to explain is this single sales license and one time payment. So I'm just going to click on it first. So I'm just going to scroll I I know there's so many license you guys can read, but the one thing that I want to explain is these two basic print on demand usage and also full print on demand usage. Okay, for basic print on demand POD usage, so you guys can see here there's a two things that you guys are allowed to do and not allowed to do. So, one thing that is not allowed to do is simply upload the design without adding distinctive new design elements. So, basically, if you guys just bought it, you can't just post it and just sell it. You can't do that. You have to create something different. You add, you get to add something. So an example here. So we got an original design here. The thing that you guys have bought from Creative Fabrica, you need to change it a little bit. So this is an example. This you can't do. And the thing right here is the thing you can do. So you guys can see here, they add some coloring and also some flowers. Okay. And the second part that I would like to explain is the full print on demand usage, which is the thing about this uh, fun is that you can create and upload designs to POD sites that are the same or similar to the original. So basically, for full print on demand, you guys can just uh, buy it and then you can just uh, paste it and then just upload. Uh, it's really good the full print on demand, but that's something you guys have to take consider. The thing about Amazon KDP is they don't like something similar. So an example, if you guys, so let's say if you guys have bought something from Creative Fabrica, you guys have to remember Creative Fabrica, there are so many users are using Creative Fabrica. Though, so they have a high chance that people are using the same image as you guys. It is better if you guys have to change the image a little bit. Okay, just remember that. And that's basically it for the licensing. So without wasting any more time, let's search some products so I can explain it a little bit more further. 
I'm going to open up Creative Fabrica again. So I'm just going to open up Creative Fabrica, okay? And then I'm going to type in animals, cute coloring book interior. Let's go. So there are so many book interior you guys can pick and choose. So I'm going to choose one uh, one product. So as an example here, I got 208 cute animals coloring pages. I'm just going to click on it first. Okay, and here we are. We got around 218 book interiors and they sell around $2. So that is why this is really great because some of people, if you guys just started selling coloring book pages and you don't know how to create your own coloring book pages you guys can just outsource from Creative Fabrica and you guys can see here an example lifetime license for personal and commercial use okay in my understanding for commercial use you guys can buy it and you guys have to change it a little bit of the interior but if you guys click on here need full POD license just click on it an example and they will give you a full license full print on demand license so you got full pod license full pre on demand license you guys can just buy the product and then just paste on canva and then just export it as it is you will have a green light from creative fabrica but remember you may be encounter a problem from amazon kdp so i suggest you guys when you buy this, just make sure just change a little bit, a thing or two before selling on Amazon KDP. Okay, it's just as simple as that. So I'm just going to proceed with buying the product. So I'm just going to buy the full print on demand license and I'm going to buy it for $260 here. I'm just going to click on it first. And then they will bring us to this right here, which is the shopping cart. And it costs around $2.60. Okay, so I will get right back to you guys before I've bought this product. And here it is guys, the product that I have bought. Okay, there are PNG files and JPEG files. So as an example, I'm going to open the PNG file and we are going to launch icon. So this is all the image that I got from Creative Fabrica, around 218 items. That's a lot. So an example here, if you guys open up, okay, you got a fish image right here. That's the tips that I want to show you guys. If you guys can check if the image have been used or not or been uploaded on Google or anything. So first of all, what you guys have to do is just open up your Google, okay? And then just type in T I N E Y E, tin I. Tin I. Okay? Click on it and then it will bring us to this page right here, tin tin I reverse image search, click on it. And this is website if you guys want to check if the image have been used multiple time find where image appears online so an example i'm just going to open up your image right here and i'm going to drag this fish image okay and then i'm going to drop and here we are they tell us that they have found zero matches on online this image right here they have found zero matches so i show you an example uh, example of an image that are uh, have many in the website so an example here monster hunter world Okay, I'm just going to click and drag on thin eye and this image they have found around 4600 results okay so this is just a tip if you guys want to use this website and don't worry I will put the website on the description below so we are going to proceed with creating the book interior what you guys have to do is just open up canva as usual all right and then what you guys have to do is just go to the top right create the design and then type in custom size and then the choose the height and height for example for my book i usually use 8.5 times 11 remember if you guys have your own size just use your own size and i'm going to create a new design and then canva will give us a page right here and what is left to do is just go to uploads where is the uploads okay and then just upload your images that you have bought from creative fabrica as you guys can see i have uploaded around five images okay so i'm just going to click on it so this is an example okay but for now i'm not going to upload my image first i'm going to delete it because why 
usually in the first page you have to put your book title uh, but in the end it all depends on how your book looks like but for me my book I usually like to put the book title for the first page so I'm going to put cute animals this is just an example of my book title and then I'm going to put coloring book and make it a little bit smaller and then just drag and we are good and maybe I'm going to use one of those image or maybe I can just use Canva elements and then I'm going to put animals okay let's see what does Canva have go to graphics I'm going to click see all so guys I think I'm going to pick this ball right here which is suitable it's just quite simple and then make sure it's in the middle and I have completed for the first page and what you guys have to do is just press add page right here and then add page another page and just make sure the second page after the picture you guys have to leave it blank to make sure that you won't bleed through because Amazon is known for its bleed through image so I'm going to start my book with page number three so I'm just going to upload the picture so an example here this is the image of the turtle maybe make it a little bit bigger and re resize it and everything and we are good and then add another page and an add another page and put in the second picture so just rinse and repeat okay just repeat the process and you guys just do it until you have 100 pages and you guys have completed your coloring book but remember you guys maybe change it a little bit um, how maybe you guys can use the elements that canva have provided okay maybe make it a little small something like that just to make sure it is a little bit different from the original so after all of those are done what you guys have to do is just go to the top right corner here press share and then go to downloads and then file type right here just change it to pdf print and then just download and this is it guys your book have been completed so in example here this is my book and maybe i'm going to zoom out a little bit so the first page cute animals coloring book and all of those image so yeah that's basically it and yeah that is all guys i hope you guys like it and i hope it will bring benefit to you guys and i wish all the best for your kdp journey and if you guys like this video please do press that like button and if you want to see more please do consider subscribing and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye see ya